The Chargers and Phillip Rivers agreed to part ways after 16 seasons. Rivers will now become a free agent and has already moved his family from Southern California to sunny Florida as he looks for a new team. Whatever happens next for Rivers, his career will always be defined by not getting to the big game. Rivers has the most touchdowns in NFL history without ever playing in a Super Bowl. Greg Jennings, I got a layup for you here. Is Phillip Rivers a <laughs> Hall of Famer? A layup. I don't know how much of a layup it is for others, but for me, it's it's a no-brainer. He is a Hall of Famer. And and I I don't want to I don't want to say this and, and be negative towards the requirements to get into the Hall of Fame, but it is the, the National Football League. It's not hard to be a Hall of Famer. When you've played 16 years and you're you're sixth in categories like passing yards, which Phillip Rivers is, he's sixth all-time in passing yards. He's sixth all-time in touchdowns. He's 10th all-time in passer rating. Like, those are numbers that jump out at you and say, look at me. And when you have those type of numbers, he's he has 123 regular season wins. He has a bunch of regular season wins. But then you start to look at the games that we like to say that matter most, postseason, Super Bowl appearances, he has none. He has five postseason wins. Like, those numbers can't outweigh what he's done over his career for regular season just because the team the team winning percentage wasn't high. And I think with when we look at it just from that lens and the other quarterbacks that – might or might not be in, in this discussion when it comes to Hall of Fame. Look at Eli Manning. His numbers are better than Eli Manning in a lot of these categories. But what does Eli Manning has? He has the two Super Bowls. He's been to the game. He's won. Aaron Rodgers, arguably, we already know he's a Hall of Famer guy. It, Big Ben, these are quarterbacks that aren't in, but we know that they're going to be in. And what do they have? They have the championship. The one thing that Phillip Rivers lacks is the Super Bowl. But when you look at why he lacks that, it's because of the guy that has them all, Tom Brady and Peyton Manning. He's been on the side in the AFC going up against these guys, trying to volley for a position to, can I get in? Can I get? And he never was able to get in. And that's not a knock on Phillip Rivers. That's just their teams were better and they were better than him in those games. Greg, you finally convinced me. I think I changed my mind in listening to you. Came out here with one thought, and you know what? I think you're right. Phillip Rivers belongs in the Hall of Fame, but not the Pro Football Hall of Fame. How about the Daddy Hall of Fame? He has more kids than he has playoff wins. He has nine kids and five playoff wins in 16 years. This ain't about longevity. All those numbers you put up, and you're just like, well, Eli Manning didn't have the same numbers, but he just happened to win two Super Bowls. He didn't happen to win two Super Bowls. He was the MVP in both. I could easily tell a story of the National Football League and never mention Phillip Rivers. Because he didn't matter in the big scheme. It's, because it's of not the about Super piling Bowls. up numbers, though. Oh. He played 16 years. He has to. Have, he should be in the top six if you played that long. You have to be somewhat productive in order to stick around for 16 years. Wait, hold on, Rob. Let me back up Greg here. So a couple other guys never got to the Super Bowl but are in the Hall of Fame. Warren Moon, Sonny Jurgensen, and Dan Fouts. Can you tell the football story uh, of the NFL without those three guys? They're in the Hall of Fame. Yeah, uh, I mean, I, I can't, I'm not going to break them all down. But no, Dan, just those Dan, three guys. Dan Faust was a part of Air Coriel when yeah. they— Philip Rivers they went, broke every record. I got it, but, but, but when they started playing that way and Don Air Coriel was a coach— of, of the Chargers, that opened up football. They used to run the football, and they were like this big throwing team with all these receivers. They never won anything, but I'm just saying that was something that revolutionized the NFL, and, and the Chargers were wow. a part of that. Oh my and, and, and we all know Warren Moon, who wasn't even wasn't in the NFL in early right. years and won all those. He, 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 was, he wasn't allowed to, just wasn't picked or wasn't right. able to play, and he wasted some of his early years, won all those great cups, in the CFL, and then still came and had some great moments in the NFL. So he made it in, and, and Sonny Jurgensen was a big legendary yeah. player. Rivers, by the way, the has rescue. more wins in his career than Eli Manning, Joe Montana, Jim Kelly. Eli beat 
I'm the not 18 and 0. The 18 and 0 Patriots. I got Eli. Yeah, he beat Tom Rivers Brady alive. twice. He won the MVP twice. He also has two of the biggest throws in it. And and if you want to talk about the trade for those two guys, clearly the Giants won well, that obviously. trade. When you look yeah. at those two guys, I would rather take Eli Manning and all the bad regular seasons and the two championships rather than a consistent Philip Rivers for 16 years. Okay, so Philip Rivers, he's out with the Chargers. He's he's not called it quits yet. If he is to go to another team that he has the opportunity to win, and he wins, and let's say he gets a Super Bowl, do you change your stance? Because now you can't talk about the NFL without listing a guy who won the Super Bowl. Was he Peyton Manning in his last Super Bowl, or did he lead the team? And, Greg, that would be the difference. If he was like Peyton Manning and just along for the ride and it was a defensive-inspired championship, that wouldn't that. change my mind. If he's the MVP, throws six touchdowns and blows away the other team, then absolutely it Rob, punches his ticket. Rob, I understand what you're saying, but when you've already put up these type of numbers... And, you, and you're able to add that. And it's a big if. If you're able to add that, it is a lock. I believe that he's a Hall of Famer already. And it's not because he's just been so, so great and so excellent. But it's because the requirements, honestly, when you look at the list and when you look at the guys that are already in, He's better. Yes. Statistically, he's Ninth better. most wins so you, in you NFL have, history. You have, you history. have guys Can't on this that list that you're not going to even consider to think about when you talk about the game of football. I look at things differently. I vote for the Baseball Hall of Fame. I get it. And, and I look at things and I say, if there's a debate about you, you're not a Hall of Famer. <laughs> That's just the way I am when I do my vote. You shouldn't have to debate and make a case for somebody. We know who the greatest players are ever. You're not going to make a case for Tom Brady or Aaron Rodgers. Is there a debate or a case? No debate All right, all. that's all I'm saying. I, I do have to give you credit, dude. The line, more kids than playoff wins, that might be the line of the week. <laughs> well done, Rob Parker. You know, You'll I, never come here, guess. I come here, I'm working for your yes. entertainment yes. dollar. Yeah, I got to read the prompter. You'll never guess who's being compared to Lamar Jackson. That's next. <laughs> Will Brady stay or will he go? That's the million-dollar question we've all been asking all season long. Now Brady's former teammate Christian Fourier said on his WEEI radio show that he believes the Patriots are 100% done with TB12. Between Brady selling his New England home and another report that says he's made zero progress with the Patriots' front office on a new deal, it's safe to say he has left some room for speculation as to whether or not he will be in Foxborough next season. All right, Greg, are you buying that the Patriots are 100% done with Tom Brady? No, I'm not. I'm not buying 100% done. That, that's when you, uh, un, Unless it comes out of Bill Belichick's mouth, then I'm not buying it at all. Even Robert Kraft, he, he's not 100% done with Tom Brady. We know this. Why do we, how do we know this? Because he's alluded to it. He wants him to either sign with the Pats or retire. Now he's saying, you know what, test the free agency market, see what's out there. But he's not saying we're done with you. He's not saying we, won't, we wouldn't love to have you back. Look, this is the way the game is played. And I get it. You got guys out there that want to be the first ones to, to drop a little nugget out there and say what they think they know. And it, it, it may be the case that Tom Brady doesn't come back. I don't tend to think that way. Why? Because I, when I look at the New England Patriots, there's no option for them right now. You have other quarterbacks out there that you can insert in the a la Teddy Bridgewater, Ryan Tannehill, guys that are younger that you can kind of build somewhat uh, or can sustain some of your success with. But who better to do it than Tom Brady if you add pieces around him? And you got to upgrade in certain positions. You definitely got to upgrade that tight end. You got to upgrade the guys in front of him, some of the guys in front of him, and on the offensive line to protect whoever you do decide to be at that quarterback position. But to say Tom Brady can't get it done when we've seen what he was able to afford them, even last year, you're going to talk about it, I'm assuming, with them being 12-4, and four, yes, were they a defensively a predominant team? Yes, but Tom Brady had to still do things that we have seen him do in the past. He just couldn't do them as effectively because the lack of skill guys around him. The running game was non-existent. And so looking at all of these things, I just don't see them be being completely 100% 
totally out on Tom Brady coming back and filling in at that, that quarterback position. I, I know a lot of people will be like, well, Michael Irvin said something, he walked it back, and you'll look at it, and, and uh, players trying to act as the role of reporters have been wrong. Oh, yeah, Kawhi let